COVID-19, they say it's a, a once in a century pandemic. And it has been really challenging. I would say that no doctors practicing medicine in our times would have experienced anything like this before. Good morning, I'm Dr. Nakia Forbes. I'm the director of the National HIV AIDS and Infectious Diseases Program and a consultant physician in internal medicine and infectious diseases. I'm a clinical tutor at the University of the West Indies School of Clinical Medicine and Research, which is our medical school here in the Bahamas. I want to say that, yes, I'm on the, um, I'm on the front line. I was there in the beginning um, with, with the first cases, but there are other persons who have really championed and, and are the heroes of this COVID-19 response. And I can say that in the public system, in the, in the clinical areas, there are a number of heroes. These nurses are dedicated, they're highly trained, they're very good at their job, and I can't give them enough praise for the work that they are doing. The doctors in the emergency room at the Princess Margaret Hospital under Dr. Crystal Wells, their head of department, they're working every day to triage these patients and to get them diagnosed. The internal medicine department at the Princess Margaret Hospital, I can't, I could take the whole interview <laughs> to talk about those young doctors, those residents that soldier every day. They're some of the best doctors there are. They unfailingly show up and work um, there with the patients, offering care, doing procedures for these patients. And it is often a thankless job. There are long hours, multiple nights on call, and it can be stressful and a lot. If we follow those public health measures can certainly reduce the chance of getting COVID-19 and reduce the risk of getting COVID-19 and that will keep us all safer. Um, it's a good strategy. If COVID-19 uh, the number of cases are lower in country then there's far less risk of, of it being transmitted and, and we can do this again. We, we did beat it the first time when we flattened the first wave I'm going to just remind that there were a number of things we did. We, we stayed home as much as possible. People took it really, really seriously. There were restrictions in some places. That can get difficult long term, but if we can follow those measures, new infections can decrease and, and we can do it. We can, we can get through this.